everybody. I am going to talk today about the Ducan diet. I've mentioned it several times in my videos, but I thought maybe I would just tell you a little bit about my experience with it. I don't want to get all technical and like tell you about all the everything about it because you can just go on the internet, you can get a book to read about it. I thought maybe it might be more interesting to kind of hear just how I'm doing it and how I'm going through it and what my experience is with it. I do highly recommend that you buy the book the Ducan Diet by Dr. Ducan. It's good to read the book and understand the reasoning why he has you do the different things that he has you do through the different phases. I have a knowledge of why you're choosing to do this rather than just randomly doing it, but that's just my personal opinion. So with that said, I had purchased the Ducan Diet and read the whole thing from start to finish back a couple years ago. I had great success with the Ducan when I tried it before. But honestly, I got really bored with it midway through the diet. I'm gonna do it again, and this time I'm doing it a little differently. I'm gonna continue on with it until I get to that point, and when I get to that point, rather than just throwing my hands up in the air and going, I don't look so bad, and just giving it all up, I am gonna go probably back to Weight Watchers, or I don't know, we'll see how I am how I feel when I get to that point, if I get to that point. Little disclaimer here, nobody is paying me to say any of this about the Ducan diet. I do not know anybody involved in the Ducan industry. Anyway, this is just my own lonesome self talking about it. So, after you read the book, it's recommended that you go over to their website, and I'll put it down below, down here, for you to check out. They will give you your true weight. So you head over to the website, which is ducandiet.com, for those of you who don't want to click down here. It'll ask you a series of questions like your age, your weight, your desired goal weight, how many diets you've been on before, all those different different questions to try to get to where your true weight is. What I understand the true weight as being is that weight which is easy for you to sustain eating healthy. My true weight according to the Ducan, and I'm gonna put up a thing to show you what it looks like. So you answer all the questions, the computer spits out a thing, and then gives you like dates for when the different phases begin and when they when they end and start and all of that. Now you're gonna see this photo. It's a little off because I actually started the attack phase back like five days ago. So this counts from the day that you enter it into the computer. It starts counting what you're doing from there on out. I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit, but basically that just gives me an idea. <laughs> I don't honestly know what my starting weight was when I started this. So I just randomly picked some numbers that I thought could be true. <laughs> which is probably not the best way to do it. You probably should go weigh, but as you know, back a few weeks ago, I decided I'm not gonna weigh at least for a few months. That's why I did not weigh. The attack phase, which is what I'm gonna talk about because that's what I'm doing right now. My attack phase will end tomorrow. You're allowed to eat all lean meat, chicken, fish, eggs, non-fat dairy, such as sour cream, cottage cheese, soy milk, cream cheese. I say non-fat or low-fat. If I said low fat, I meant non fat. You're allowed to exchange Splenda for sugar, and you're allowed to drink diet drinks, and one and a half tablespoons of oat bran. And that's it. That is all you are allowed to eat for however many days the computer says that you need to be on it. I didn't make the rules. There's some additional requirements that you have to do. Those requirements are to walk 20 minutes every single day, you are required to eat a drink drink 1.5 quarts of water a day and you are required to never ever 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 not once never ever ever did i say ever never ever never allowed to use escalators or elevators ever again i personally am following this pretty much to the letter but i do have some minor little changes i walk approximately one to one and a half hours every day I've been doing it for over a year, so I didn't see the need to reduce myself down to 20 minutes when I feel really comfortable walking that amount of time. But I will admit that it's nice to have that fallback that I only have to do 20 minutes because sometimes my days get really, really busy or I have meetings. I can, I can at the very least squeeze in 20 minutes, so it doesn't make me feel so bad that I missed my hour walk, but at least I got in the 20 minutes. And I don't have to feel bad because that's really the only requirement as far as exercise goes that you're required to do. I talked a few videos back that I don't believe in non-fat, low-fat diet products at all. If I am doing the dairy, I will do the whole product of the dairy. I'm not really doing any dairy other than I will add some sour cream to a couple of things just to give it a little bit more oomph. 
I guess, because after a few days of eating the same thing over and over and over again, it does get monotonous. So it's nice to add in a little bit of a twist or a change. Along with that, if I don't believe in diet, low fat or non-fat, then I also obviously don't believe in Splenda. I tried Splenda back when I first did this diet a few years ago, and I started to get these terrible, terrible headaches. I'm still convinced to this day that I had to do a Splenda. I actually have a huge box of Splenda that I bought in Costco in my kitchen sitting there probably until kingdom come. I am not substituting out Splenda for sugar. I'm not using any sugar or Splenda or anything like that at all. I do have one tiny little thing that I am doing is adding a carnation chocolate creamer to my coffee every morning, which is my treat. And I told my husband, I I can't believe when I went on my trip and I came back and I went back into the, doing the attack phase and having my coffee with just my, you know, chocolate creamer, it didn't taste that rich to me. And I told him it's so weird because before I went back on the trip, this tasted so good. Like it was delicious. It was my treat for the day. Like I couldn't believe how good it was. It took me probably three days before I got back to feeling that way again. It still felt like it wasn't sweet enough or it was missing something. And now I'm like, ooh, that's so yummy. There you have it. That is the attack phase of the Ducan diet. That's the way that I am choosing to do it. How do I feel? The first couple days, I'm not gonna lie, they're tough because even though I love protein, my family's a big protein family, I do miss my vegetables and when I watch my husband eating a salad with carne asada on it and I can't have any of those vegetables, I'm not going to lie, that's a little difficult. But when you get into the third, the fourth day, it just starts to get into a rhythm. What I really like about it is that's all you're allowed to eat, like there's no nothing in between. So what are you going to snack on really? Like <laughs> tuna fish? <laughs> So there's not any snacking desire going on or wanting to do. I, the closest thing I come to a treat, I guess, would be drinking mineral water. I put a little flavoring in it and that tastes really good and that would be my like late night treat. But other than that, this is what I'm eating. On this diet, you do need to invest and use a lot of spices because, you know, as I've mentioned over and over, it gets monotonous. So it's nice to have like a little Asian twist to something or a little bit of a spicy, you know, Mexican twist or adding in a Thai twist and you can do that with spices, which makes it taste a little better. It makes it, you know, give you a little bit more variety. The reason that I am 100% comp completely willing to do this again, which this is my third time. One of the reasons why I'm willing to do this is because it works. It works, just plain and simple. The Obviously it works, why wouldn't it work? You're eating nothing but protein, you're drinking a ton of water, you're exercising, no snacking, so there is no reason I can even imagine why on earth this diet would not work. And I can feel it working, like I mentioned before, my clothes feel really loose on me, I'm wearing things that I haven't been able to wear in a while. So I'm really excited to start the cruise phase. And when I get to the cruise phase, I'll do a video talking about that, explaining kind of, you know, the difference with the cruise phase, what you're allowed to eat, and how I feel on it. So I will talk to you guys later. I have a video coming up in a couple days, just walking around town and showing you what my little town looks like as we go out and about doing whatever it is we do. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. I appreciate that so much. It just makes me feel like, yay, there's someone out there. I'm not all by myself. If you're not commenting or liking and you are still watching, thank you for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Ciao, 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 ciao.